Not long ago here on China Take, we mentioned a story in a magazine called Lens. Uh, this related the horrific conditions and brutal treatment endured by women held at the Masanja re-education through labour camp. The camp, which is near the city of Xinjiang in Liaoning province in northeastern China, is part of a system called re-education through labour, or Lao Jia, as it's known in Chinese. Uh, this is still in use decades after it was introduced by Mao Zedong to deal with his political adversaries. Now, under this system, police can lock away anyone they consider undesirable uh, for up to four years, and they don't have to go through any judicial process or go to a court or put it in front of a judge, nothing whatsoever. The magazine reports, uh, based on evidence from current and former inmates, as well as from prosecutors and camp officials, detailed routine torture, forced excessive labour, insufficient food, denial of medical treatment, uh, amongst many other abuses. In response, the provincial government of Liaoning issued a brief statement saying it would investigate. In the meantime, uh, all evidence of the offending article was scoured from the Chinese internet by busy censors. Just this week, uh, the Liaoning authorities did announce their results, and these were published by the Legal Daily. Uh, the government essentially denied all the accusations, rejected the testimonies of those interviewed by the magazines, and claimed the magazine article was seriously inconsistent with the facts, and it insisted that uh, physical punishment and abuses, uh, the ones mentioned in the magazine, did not take place. However, the author of the report, uh, Yuan Ling, stands by his story. He responded on his microblog by challenging the Liaoning authorities to prove that he had lied in court. Uh, so how have net users reacted? Whom do they believe? Well, let's now join our researcher Esther Dung in the newsroom to get a handle on the online discussion here. So Esther, uh, before we look at this magazine article and the local government investigation, how much do net users really know about this Masanja uh, re-education through labour camp? Well, I have to say, until the Lens Magazine article was published earlier this month, and the interviews with the former inmates were broadcast on Hong Kong-based Phoenix TV, very few net users knew anything about this camp, even its name. Uh, but that doesn't mean the Goyang's and Ma Sanjia were completely off the radar, or that nobody had uh, heard of it. And uh, over the years, there have been regular posts about what goes on at the camp, uh, usually horrific stories about physic uh, physical abuse. But none of this made much of a splash until now. Those who were aware either had some connection to the camp or lived nearby. Uh, one Shenyang local, Lao Bing, has this to say on Yahoo.com. Uh, kindergarten kids in Shenyang all know this one thread. If you dare to hit me, I will send you to Ma Sanjia to sit on the torture rack. And that was 10 years ago when I heard about it. And uh, this poster named uh, Niu Yan ABC sounds quite confused. How could such a small place like this camp have such a powerful effect? Who's behind it? So essentially we've got the author of the report, Yuan Ling, uh, from Lens magazine, and to a certain extent corroboration from Phoenix TV, which also interviewed some of these women on one side. And then on the other side we've got the Liaoning government, uh, each sticking to their own arguments. Which side do net users believe? Well, based on the comments I've seen, a small number of posters do stand beside the Liaoning provincial local government. Uh, one typical example is this take posted on legaldaily.com.cn. Those journalists are so unprofessional. How could they believe the uncorroborated words of these interviewees? Did they carry out enough research? But uh, I have to say the vast majority of net users have deep doubts over the local government story. Uh, first listen to uh, Meng Yachun on Canyu.org. This so-called investigation wasn't aimed at checking whether the persecution and physical abuses happened or not, but how this information was leaked. And I've heard that one leader of the investigating team is the former director of the Ma Sanjia labor camp. So how could the local authorities guarantee the so-called objectivity, fairness, and openness of the report? Um, and we also have uh, Hebei Li Lin Lu Shi, who seemed to feel the investigation was little more than a joke. The investigating team consisted of the local judiciary department and the labor camp bureau. It's just like a son breaking the law and then appointing his father as the judge. And the local government didn't present any convincing proof to disprove what the magazine article said. Uh, finally, this poster from uh, Shandong sounds quite puzzled. What's the point of these so-called false reports? What's wrong here? 
Now, as we mentioned earlier, uh, Yuan Ling, the reporter uh, for Lens Magazine, has defended his story uh, on his microblog and, and challenged the authorities to take the case to court if they want. He also called on the investigating team to, take, uh, to make their information public. Is this being talked about at all? Well, on this question, I have to say there's very little discussion online. And for a very simple reason, a UN's microblog post was deleted very soon after he wrote it. So not many people actually know about it. Uh, however, the South China Morning Post published the post before it was removed and translated it this way. Uh, I dare the Liaoning labor camp to sue me and present its evidence in court. If the court rules I made false allegations, I welcome any persecution. But if my report proves to be true, I would like the court to punish every official involved in the case, including the abusers and the concealers. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, the original Lens Magazine article was removed not only from the magazine website, but also from any other websites where it had been reposted, uh, including some government-linked organizations such as the uh, China Women's News. And what's more ironic is that almost all the reports covering the local government's investigation results avoid even mentioning the name of the Lens magazine. Instead, they use the sentence, uh, the previous article published earlier by some magazine is false. Uh, but uh, the few posters who are aware of the censorship certainly aren't happy. First, Chen Mo V asks simply, why did the Senate Weibo delete the reporter's post? On what grounds can they do that? Uh, and uh, Hai An Yi Pi Min also asks, Who is lying here? Does the investigating team dare to take up the challenge to go to court? Okay, uh, finally Esther, can you give us some idea of the general perception in the online community of this uh, parallel justice system, uh, Lao Jia, re-education through labor? What do people think of it? Well, over the past few years, uh, Chinese lawyers and human rights organizations have repeatedly pointed out that uh, the system is a flagrant breach of China's own constitution. Uh, and based on the comments I've seen, net users tend to agree. Uh, for example, this poster based in the U.S. has this take. Those locked inside these labor camps are all petitioners, and the local authorities detain them under various made-up of accusations, like petty theft. But no court has ever given any verdict, so how can they call them thieves? Uh, and this poster on sina.com com, uh, comments. Uh, those detained in labor camps are called students or trainees instead of prisoners. But the people would rather go to jail than these camps. Everyone knows why. Uh, finally, I'd like to finish up with this post from uh, Yunnan Qinren on Tianya.cn. Uh, China is at a very important point in history just now. To further reforms, first and foremost, uh, we have to make the truth public. If we cover up all the darkness, we can move on to tomorrow. To make a real information public and learn lessons from it, that's how we can progress and prosper. Okay, thanks for that, Esther. And that was uh, China Tech researcher Esther Dung uh, with online reaction uh, to those, uh, that denial of a report in uh, Lens magazine of abuse and uh, uh, torture in a, in a Chinese labor camp, uh, denial by the local authorities that it had ever taken place. Next up on China Take, some of the top trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.